And spawning into the uh, bottom left corner of the map, we have Vega Squadron's Ward, the orange Protoss player, and his opponent one up, uh, or one game up against him. It's going to be Root Petraeus, the yellow Zerg player, here in the top left. Jesus, give me give me a moment here, guys, while I uh, get uh, a, a napkin or something or a handkerchief. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Uh. Uh. That was so good. That game, man. I I still can't wrap my head around it. That was like unbelievable. <sighs> All right, gateway opener for uh, Ward, and interestingly enough, it's going to be a fourteen pool for Petraeus. Even though this is a this is a huge macro map, you know you can you can go for fifteen hatch, no problem. Um, I mean, yeah, versus Protoss, if he opens gateway, then fifteen hatch. Uh, I still think it should be okay. You should definitely be able to defend any kind of uh, gateway pressure slash all in unless it's like a four gate off of one base which you don't really see that nowadays so and Petraeus probably oh, is he going to take a third no he's not he's looking for the probe he doesn't know if this is a gateway opener or a uh, forge opener yet so he's just making precautions not to be caught off guard by a cannon rush <coughs> I think or is he oh, probably not and uh, looks like Ward is going to be fast expanding and walling this off. He does get a cybernetic score before, so... You know, if the last game is anything to go by... Uh, he doesn't cancel those Zealot, neither. And Petraeus saw that Zealot exiting, uh, exiting the gateway. So... A couple of Lings making their way across the map, uh, they should be... they should not get too much done. At the very most, they might delay the Nexus from coming up, but Ward's opening is such that he doesn't get a super quick Nexus anyways. Uh, if Petraeus micros this, however, he may get the pylon and not lose too much. Here comes the Stalker, so Petraeus will have to retreat in order not to lose any Zerglings. A ah, little bit of cockiness right there. That could have been avoided. Second Stalker about to pop out from the gateway and the Mothership core still nowhere to be seen. It looks like Ward's opening relies on uh, heavy pressure at the start of the game and a later expansion which will force Petraeus to make uh, a decent number of links just to stay alive. Two queens at the natural should be fine. Yeah, he definitely should be fine. By the time those stalkers and uh, the zealot get over there, uh, the second queen will be up. Yep, there we go. And uh, is Petraeus going to be getting a third one? Uh, he's going to probably lose an overlord over here, so that's a shame. Two links in production. One more larvae available. Good. Build one more. Gets the Zod, but loses an Overlord, supply blocking himself. So, not the best of starts. Luckily for uh, Petraeus, uh, Ward is retreating right now. And Pet Petraeus will be getting a third base momentarily here, so. Nice. 6 minute 30. Getting a third base just as the natural of the Protoss is uh, about to finish. This could be a four gate follow up with a plus one though. I'm just looking for that fourth gate to be built somewhere. Petraeus is looking for it as well. Our are under and poking with the links, getting a Roach Warren up. This is a uh, this is overall a very good play uh, because you know against gateway timings, it's uh, fairly crucial to get that Roach Warren up. 
because that way you can stand a chance against uh, stalkers. Quick Twilight Council in before the plus one. I mean, usually, if you want to go for a quick plus two, you get the Twilight Council up when uh, the plus one is just about halfway done. That way the Twilight Council finishes when your plus one is done. So this will be blank play. And, uh, yeah. I wonder how much Chrono Boost will go into that blink and the plus one, uh, or plus two, because Ward is a little bit undersaturated with the probes, and I'm smelling a two base all in here, to be quite honest. It's definitely looking like it. Three additional gateways being added on in, uh, in the main. And he already has three, so if he adds on a couple more, this is definitely going to be a two base play. Clears the third base location. Uh, looks like he wants to take a third base anyways. Yeah. Three base blink, that's... That's also a viable choice on this map. Petraeus already has roaches in production. Glow reconstitution on the way as well. No upgrades uh, for range missile attacks so far. Uh, he does have link speed as well. Word is taking a third base. He'll add on two, maybe three additional gateways over here. Opting to wall around the cannon that he'll build after the pylon is finished right here instead of just walling off with a huge wall at the ramp. Infestation pick going up uh, for Petraeus, interestingly. So he may be thinking of moving into Swarm Hosts again. And remember what I what I told you guys, this is either Mutalisks or Swarm Hosts. Take your pick. So it's probably going to be Roach-based defense against the Blink play into Swarm Hosts later on. We st remember, we still have no Robo for the for the Protoss player, so... Yeah, this is definitely doable here for Ward. He will lose the third. Actually cancels that one, so good for him. Has no no units defending uh, defending the natural, however. Just one cannon. At the same time, he is uh, attacking the third base of Petraeus. And we have a little bit of lag here. Hopefully Rifkin is not lagging again. Oh no! Rifkin! Damn it! Oh... What's up with his internet today? He's usually like rock solid. All right, we'll have to wait for some 20 more seconds. Um I want to see carriers again. <laughs> I'm such a fanboy. I know. I know, but, you know, carriers... I mean, come on, that's like... having a sexy, busty redhead hitting on you. Game if you get my drift. So... I mean, I'm not disrespectful to, disrespectful to women, you know. Um, it's just, you know, I, I make the comparison. Carriers all the way. Uh, recall being forced, however, as there are too many roaches here for wards to handle. And uh, of course, his natural has been breached as well, so he has to take care of these roaches. Petraeus may do crippling damage to ward with uh, these couple of roaches if he starts targeting down uh, probes. Currently, it's just, it seems to me like he's trying to buy time for the reinforcements to get in, so he's trying to. Uh, keep these stalkers busy for as long as possible. Interesting blink in by uh, my word. The natural under further waves of attack. Put on overcharge triggered, uh, but these stalkers are going to take their sweet time getting there. Petraeus being very smart though, retreating immediately. He does have that infestation pit finished. I wonder if he's gonna go for swarm hosts again. No upgrade for them just yet. Plus one missile attacks going up and a robo facility being built on the other side of the map for the Protoss player. Tries to retake his third base again. Um, still no swarm hosts in production, so... I don't know, maybe Petraeus reconsidered his approach and he's like, you know what, 
I did enough damage, I'm going to finish you off with just roaches and links. You don't have any mortals, you don't have any sentries, your uh, soldiers have been, you know, you lost a bunch of those already, they're exposed. I'm just going to try and deny your third base from ever coming up, and that way I'm going to win the... Oh! Win the game! And as I say it, swarm hosts are coming up. But I don't think they're even going to be needed. I mean, look how many roaches there are here. GG called from war, and Petraeus takes the 2-0 victory. Unfortunately, no carriers this time around.